Hi friends, it's Carolyn Zook here with C. Zook Stitch. Today is Saturday, June 13th, 2020. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad that you stopped by and spending part of your weekend with me or whenever you're watching this. But welcome. Uh, let's jump right into it. I had a question from Cat, Crafty Cat on my last video about Pattern Keeper. So Pattern Keeper is an app that works great with full coverage pieces. They are slowly adding additional uh, designers to it. Uh, so not all designers, not all patterns will work with it yet. But you import from a PDF, you import it into Pattern Keeper app and you can kind of check off your progress as you go. It also works with non-full coverage pieces, just to clarify, uh, but it's especially helpful for those really large pieces um, instead of highlighting kind of the sections you've done and whatnot. I use it for my two hates, and I'm actually using it for, um, I'm working on Narnia by Jan Hicks, um, and so it's compatible with Jan's patterns as well. And that one, Narnia is not a full coverage, but it works great for that as well. Um, and so. Crafty Cat asked uh, about what tablet I use and how you download it, and I'm going to sneeze. So Crafty Cat asked how, how, what tablet I use and how do you download it and all of that. So I, for Christmas this past year, I actually asked for a, um, a Fire, Amazon Fire tablet, I think is what it's called. It's version 7. I think it's an older version. They have newer versions available, but this was very inexpensive. I think it was around $50, and I only intend to use Pattern Keeper with it. So I didn't need all the bells and whistles for it. Um, so I got that for Christmas, and it only Pattern Keeper only works on Android. It does not work with... Uh, it's not compatible with Apple products yet. Um, and so most of my products are Apple. Um, so I got the, the Fire tablet. And for certain, I think for the Fire tablet specifically, you need to download a series of files in a certain order in order to get Google Play on the tablet so that you can download Pattern Keeper. It's straightforward. You just have to follow the directions. Um, my biggest... Um, Word of advice is just join the Facebook group. If you're on Facebook, there's a Facebook group called Stitching with Pattern Keeper. And there's a lot of troubleshooting help in there. Uh, in the files section, there's information on how to download um, and the order of those files and all of that. So all that information is available on their Facebook group. So that's probably your best resource. I'm not super tech savvy. Um, so, and I actually had to try it a couple of times. I think I think it was just my, my um, Wi-Fi connection got interrupted or something the first time, and so it didn't download properly, but of course I didn't know that at the time. So I would just go head over there and um, check out the files, and there's a lot of resources and a lot of helpful people who are much more tech savvy than I am. But I love Pattern Keeper. Um, it's really, really great, and they are adding new designers to it as quickly as she can. All right, so I hope that helps. So let's get into stitching. First up, I have a finish. So if you are in my Facebook group, you saw this maybe last night. So I have a Facebook group, Seasook Stitch. Actually, we have two, but we'll talk about the second one a little bit later. And I posted this last night. I finished Harbor Haven scene number eight. There it is. So this is stitched on a 32 count Belfast linen in vintage smoky white. I love, I love this linen. It just gives the right amount of movement for the seam. Uh, the only real, so I'm using all called for DMC except for the water. So this water, I'm using a Threadworks, it's number 1056. And then there's little spots of darker water and I'm using DMC 3848 for that. So the called for is a um, DMC 502 and 503, and it's more of a green. It's also very pretty, but I wanted more of a blue water um, than green. But everything else is called for. So there we go. Hit my water bottle. Can you? There we go. 
So Harbor Haven, Harbor Haven number eight is done. We have four more to go before we have a big finish, the big goal for this year. In addition to that, I had two new starts this week. So first up, we're doing a sell with Gary and Dee and Matthew. Um, we're doing Royal Holiday by Mirabilia. It's a Nora Corbett. She will look like this. We're using hashtag, there's two hashtags for this one. Hashtag Royal Holiday Sal and hashtag Royal Holiday D Birthday Sal. D-E-E -E for D's birthday. She started this on her birthday. And this is how far I got. I just worked on it one evening. That's how far I got. I, I started in the center. I don't normally start in the center. Um, but with a piece like this, there wasn't a good um, corner really to start. So I am stitching this. Let me, let me. I did mark the top because... I can see me getting that confused. So this is a 32 count linen uh, in Neverland C by Fabrics by Stephanie. So it's quite big. I'm doing two over two, all called for. And that's my little tiny start. So not much to show. It just, not much to show, but it's a little start nonetheless. So my plans for this is it's going to go on my Whipco board this year. So we'll get another, like a 10 hour rotation on that. My only concern, and Anne, I think I was talking with you about this, <clears throat> is that I need to count to make sure it will fit. <laughs> um, I'm just looking for which way is it. Okay. But I think it should, I just need to count from the center down is my primary concern because it it doesn't look so bad on there but in real life it looks pretty low but then I realized I started in the center and worked my way down so it's probably okay because it, it is the center start I'm just nervous about it I had a heck of a time um, if you've ever done a Mirabilia their um, charts are these big giant pages which is great because you can kind of see kind of where you're going and you get to see the big picture so I like that, but it's really hard to make a working copy. And so I struggle, I struggled making a working copy with this. I have a better idea now what to do for my next one because there will be a next one in August. Um, but that was a really big struggle. And I just don't, um, you know, places aren't really open yet here in Portland. So, you know, going to Staples to make a copy wasn't really an option. So I just made a copy with my printer at home, the laser jet. Um, and, and I, I did eventually figure it out, but it, it was, it was not easy to make a working copy of this. So Mirabilia Royal Holiday, new start. My other new start, you might've seen this, uh, Jan, Jan and I did a stitch with us, um, on Thursday and it's posted on her channel over at Jan Hicks Create. So I'll post a link to that before below we started or owl forest embroidery together this is Bayoun cat we both love cats we both fell in love with this kit and we are supposed to be at StitchCon uh this weekend we were going to start this together in person at StitchCon, uh, but we instead we decided to start it together over zoom next best thing right so that's what it is and the kit comes with everything you need it comes with the floss the fabric needle needle minder great patterns and all that. So this is my start. I started in the top left corner, with that little Quaker. This is a 32 count Belfast linen. I am not sure the color. Uh, Jan realized during our stitch with us that this fabric is actually printed fabric, which means there's a right side and a wrong side. I started on the wrong side, meaning the side that doesn't have the colors a little more diminished is all it means. I don't want to take out what I've stitched so far and I'm okay with it being not as colorful because I mean it's the same to me so I'm not I'm not pulling that out but if you are starting this kit or an Al Forest I don't know if all their linens this is my first Al Forest kit but check their linens to see if they are printed linen which means one side has more color because um, it's printed on and then the other side is a little more muted um, 
if, if you care about that. I obviously don't. So I was all proud of this, and I'm like, hey, I got the first Quaker done, and I took a picture, and I posted it in the groups, and then I was looking at the picture, and I was like, something doesn't look right. It's because I forgot over here it's supposed to, you know, that little, the yellow piece is over there. It's supposed to be over there, and I forgot to do it. So it's nearly done, I guess. <laughs> oh, well, that's fine. So my plan for this is this, this is probably going to go away until next year where it will get a, um, uh, probably a monthly rotation until it's done to work on this. Um, so, you know, like how I was doing with cross stitch nation where I give it four or five hours a month until it's done. So that's by and cat. That's really fun to work with. Um, the colors are just beautiful and the floss, um, is just gorgeous and it's a great kit. It's a great deal. Uh, for everything you need and it's well done and then the other thing I worked on was my temperature tree so this is by stitching mommy uh, and this is a temperature tree where each branch represents a month and each leaf represents a day in that month and you track I'm tracking the high temperatures I know some people are doing two trees one for the high and one for the low uh, I'm just doing the high. And so we are now way up here on this branch for June. So we are almost halfway around the tree. So I actually even changed the direction of my cue snap before. I think it was like this, but now we're like this. So we are heading up. So I got the June branch, um, I think all done. I think the June branch is done. And then, so now I just have to fill in each leaf. And this is on a 32 count light blue Lugana. And that's where we're at. And I did do more down here. Um, let me show you on the chart. Down here. I don't have this totally complete yet. I have a few more rows to do, but it's getting there. I'm doing a mid-year whip parade at the end of June. So I will take everything out of the cue snaps and you'll be able to see kind of the whole thing in, a, what, two, three weeks? So, yeah. So that's what I worked on this week. It doesn't feel like a whole lot, but it felt busy enough. Getting Harbor Haven done, I wasn't sure if I would be able to get it done um, in time for this video, but that was a really good motivation to try to get it done to show you a finish. So that's what we worked on this week. On to haul, I just have a little bit of haul. This is not super exciting, but I'm excited about it. These are my favorite, favorite thread keeps, and I ordered two new packs. So now I have four total, so that makes four. So each pack, I get these on Amazon. I'll link them down below. They're like $13, $14. You get um, 18 per pack, 18 of these. They're plastic. Um, and I just use, you've seen me use these before. You can use painter's tape. I use the little circle garage sale tags that are removable. Removable is the key, and I write the DMC number or and or the symbol on it. They have 20 slots per one of these. I tend to leave the top row blank um, so that stray threads that um, aren't used up entirely can have a place to go up there. It works for me, but uh, if you don't do that, you can fit 20 threads on one of these. And I really like them, um, but you know, I have so many projects being kitted up that I was getting low on these. So I just ordered a couple more. This should last me for quite a while. And that's just off of Amazon. I got my June issue of the world of cross stitching. I did a flip through with this, which uh, some of you saw. I know not everybody likes flip throughs, which is perfectly fine. Uh, but I did do a giveaway on that, which I'll be giving away today. And I could tell by the comments that not many people um, knew that there's a giveaway in that one, but that's fine. Um, hopefully the people who watch it enjoy it. Um, but I really love this one. Um, there's a lot in here that I want to do and had a lot of really great ideas, uh, which is why I wanted to do a flip through of it as well. So I got that in the mail. And as I said before, I have said before that, you know, I, there hasn't lately, there hasn't been a lot in this particular magazine that I've wanted to stitch, um, which is great for you guys. Cause then I give it away. Um, but this, this issue makes me want to think about renewing my, um, subscription. So we'll see. We'll see. I also got my Just Cross Stitch August edition. I haven't had a chance to look through this yet. And if you want me to do a flip through, I'm happy to do it. Um, 
just let me know if, if you like flip throughs or not to know if you want to go out and buy specific issues. I'm happy to do a flip through. So this is August and I will take a look through this at some point, but I really like that on the front cover. I don't know that I would stitch it, but I love the idea of those kites. And then something happened, you guys, something happened. So I mentioned my Facebook group, Suzik Stitch, which is for all things stitchy related. And then we have a new Facebook group called Friends of Hawk Run Hollow. Um, and that's for anybody who is interested in stitching a Hawk Run Hollow or just likes to look at beautiful stitching or needs some motivation, anything like that. My friend Andrea, posted in Hawk Run Hollow was it earlier this week, I think. She said something like, hey, anybody want to do Christmas at Hawk Run Hollow? We can start at July 15th for Christmas in July. Well, I mean, Chris, Christmas at Hawk Run Hollow was on my like wish list, but I did just start three in May. So it wouldn't be really responsible of me to start another fourth Hawk Run Hollow. Um, but I'm going to. Somebody just rang my doorbell. Sorry about that. Somebody, uh, rang my doorbell. It was the UPS driver dropping off a package, not stitchy related. Anyway, so I was saying the responsible thing for me would be not to start another, a fourth Hawk Run Hollow. So I'm going to start a fourth Hawk Run Hollow. <laughs> so <laughs> came in the mail. I ordered it directly from Carriage House Sampling, Samplings, Christmas at Hawk Run Hollow. I still need to get the fabric. I'm probably just going to do the same exact fabric I'm doing on all my other Hawk Run Hollows, which is a 32 count Lugana um, by Be Stitch Me in Vanilla Latte. But look at this. It's so pretty. How I'm going to fit it into my rotation, I don't know. And I know you guys, I read your comments. <laughs> I know you think I'm nuts. But how can you say no to this? How can you say no? It's so pretty. So I got that. And if you go go to the Carriage House Sampling's website, or don't go, um, there's so many other charts. You have so many other great charts other than Hawker and Hollow. So if... These are too big for you, um, or you, you just aren't drawn to them. Um, check out their website. I'll link it below because we have great other charts that are smaller. Now, keep in mind that with Hawk Run Hollow charts, they're designed really nicely. So if you want to, say, take like four of these and only do four, you can do that really easily. The charts are, each block has its own separate chart. So it's very, very easy to kind of pick and choose. Or if you wanted to do, you know, just a couple of these as smalls and make like pillows out of them or flat folds or something like that, you could easily do that. So keep that in mind if you're like, well, I don't really like all of the blocks in there. So I don't want to do the whole thing. You don't have to do the whole thing. You can mix and match however you want. Each block I think is about 92, not about, it is 92 by 92. Okay, so that gives you an idea. So I need to order the fabric and the threads for that so that we can start July 15th. That was not in my plans. That was completely Andrea's fault, not my fault. That's it for haul. Okay, so giveaways. So, like I said, I gave, I did a couple giveaways on the flip through of the world of cross stitching. So, I gave away, I was giving away this um, kit, happy birthday card kit. And Linda Fusitola, you won this. I know I have your address, so I'll pop this in the mail to you. And I also gave away this chart of the cottage. And Kim Gatz, you won this. So, Kim, I know I have your address, so I will send that out to you as well. And then, on last week's video, we had, we were giving away this, um, this Little House Needleworks ABC Samplers. And Kelly Hale, you won this. I know I have your address, so I will send that out to you. 
We gave away Country Spirits, Hearts of Plenty, Autumn and Winter. Look at those sweet little, I just love those. I think they're so cute. And Lynette Peters, you won this. So I will get that sent off to you. This one was quite popular. Um, we Three, it's called We Three by Plum Street Samplers. And it has Esther, Jonah, Noah. And it was really neat um, to read your comments because a uh, few of you said that you have a child or children um, with these names. Um, Kay Lowry, you won this, and I know I have your address as well. So that's that. Okay, so then last week I said that we were having trouble with the YouTube comment picker. It seemed, obviously it's working now. I don't know if, so on my f num two videos ago, number 43, there were no comments for any of the giveaways, which is perfectly fine if nobody wants them. However, there's always at least somebody that wants one, um, at least one of them. So I know YouTube is having some issues. I know a lot of people have been having issues uploading to YouTube and there's a lot of issues with comments being deleted or there's just a lot of kind of issues right now around YouTube. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try one more time to give these away. And if you don't want them, that's perfectly fine. Um, but I just want to give another opportunity in case somebody does want them because I find it unusual that nobody wanted any of them. All right, so we're going to try this one more time. Um, and so even if you did say, oh, no, I replied or I wanted that one on the last video, we'll just start over um, because I don't know what's going on with the comments on that video. There are comments. I see comments, but none of them mention any of these. So I'm not sure what's going on. But let's try again, okay? And if you don't want them, you don't want them, and I'll just donate them. First up is Liddy, Lizzie Kate Tiny Tidings. So you get those three charts. Well, three charts, I'm pretty sure. Yes, yes, all three charts. They're small, they're 51 by 51. And if you want this, say tiny, T-I-N-Y. Okay. Next up is Lizzie Kate Stockings. Aren't those sweet? And they come with some little charms and a button for each stocking. So if you want this, say stocking. Those are so pretty. And then we have three Fancy That charts. It's all Christmas winter themed. This is gingerbread cookies. These pictures don't do them justice. It's a little bell pole with gingerbread family on it. Look how cute that is. With a little jingle bell down there. So if you want this, say cookies, plural, I-E-S. This one is silver bells. So it's ding-a-ling, hear them ring. Again, these pictures aren't great, but it's very sweet. This is my one of my favorite Christmas carols is Silver Bells. And then the last one that we'll re-give away is called Let It Snow, another like just a little banner with a snowman and some buttons. And if you want this, say snow. Okay, another little jingle bell in there. It's cute. So those are redos. And then I'm going to add in two new ones for this week. This is the work basket. Proverbs, th or three proverbs. So this must be a series. Um... So it's a soothing tongue is a tree of life. A deceitful tongue breaks the spirit. And a person thinks he, he does is, a person thinks all he does is right. The Lord weighs hearts. Is that right? Yeah. But the Lord weighs hearts. So if you want this, say, spell out the word Three, T-H-R-E-E. -E. I told you last week when I had all those number ones, your comments were so funny. Um, some of you were doing math equations and all that. It was great to read. 
So, and I had said, oh, there were two more I wanted to give away, but the numbers would have conflicted. So this is one of them. So three, T-H-R-E-E -E for the third in the series. And then I also have the fourth in this series. So same thing from work basket, or I'm sorry, the fifth. So we're going to say five, F-I-V-E, spell, spell out the word. A horse... A horse is made ready for battle. Victory belongs to the Lord, but, but victory belongs to the Lord. Wise men build houses on rock, but fools build on sand. So if you are interested in winning that, say number five. And please don't say giveaway in the comments, um, just so we don't attract trolls. So those are the giveaways for this week. And then plans. So my plans... I'm going to do my weekly rotation of temperature tree. I won't show you that because I just showed it to you. But because the June branch is all done, I'll probably just do the uh, leaves, and that's all that needs to be done. I'm going to do a four-hour rotation probably tonight on Farewell to Anger. This is my Hane, one of my Hanes, Jan. Um, and this is where I'm at from last month. So I'm going to finish up this diagonal. These are diagonals of 10. I might switch. So in Pattern Keeper, it's really easy to switch to um, if you want your diagonals to be 10 stitches wide or 20. I might try 20. I'm doing 20 on Balmy Spring Day, and it's really easy. Um, so I'll see how that, I mean, obviously it'll be a little bit slower to get through the diagonals. Uh, so I don't know. It's six of one, half dozen of the other. But I'm going to do a four-hour rotation on this, hopefully between tonight and tomorrow night, if I can't get it all done tonight. Temperature tree. And then, now that I'm done with Harbor Haven number eight, and it's only June 13th, my focus is going to be on spring at Hawk Run Hollow. So I have the top border done, and I'm working. My goal is to get one block done a month, if I can. Primary goal is Harbor Haven, though. So that comes first. So, I want to show you where we're at on this. This is what it looks like. So you can see that first block. I just have a little bit done on that first block. There's quite a bit more to go. Um, yeah. Uh, so, you know, they look so big and there's a lot of stitching in them. But, like I said, it's only June 13th. So this will be my kind of focus for this week until I get it done. So look forward to some progress on that. This is 32 Count Lugana in Vanilla Latte by Be Stitch Me. This is what all my hot run hollows are going to be on. Can we just look at this again? Look at that bird's nest. I just love it. It was such a pain to stitch. It was such a pain to stitch. But it's so pretty now to look at. I just really love it. Um, so that's what I'm going to be working on this week. So not a lot of different projects, but a lot of kind of solid focus stitching. All right, everyone. I think that's all I have for you. I should be back next week with another update. Until then, take care of yourselves and happy stitching. Bye.